they've been played, that Australia is actually still a penal colony. And they're, they're letting you know what your roots really are. You've made me think about something there. And yes, you, you, you're quite correct. These energy weapons, these directed energy weapons, which are causing the, these horrific burns on people's people's skin, they're burning their flesh unbelievably. If you told me a couple of years ago that they'd literally be phasering people on the streets um, at protests, I, I would have told you you're crazy. But you made me think about something there. Um, when you talked about the compliance of people, Irish people are also heavily fluoridated, sadly to say, and they want to bring it now into the UK. Um, it, it's it's apparently there's a little bit of fluoridation in some parts of the UK, but not all of it. Um, but I'm thinking of something that a gentleman by the name, he goes by the name, uh, these are a uh, golden age man. He was on uh, Grand Torino and he was talking about the nature of this tyranny, that it, it's be, it's very different to anything we, we would have pointed to in history perhaps only comparable to a Bolshevik revolution where it's very ideologically driven. And but even then, you know, it's not like, as you were saying, it's not like you can point to a dictator and say, you see what this particular guy is doing. It's not like that. The people, this communitarian collectivized attitude that people have been raised in, it's very scary. Um, I mean, we talked just before we came on air there about how people generally are in this trance and they, they can't seem to see reality for what it is when we point to something we tell them and I, I i have many conversations like this this is this is long before this is six to seven months before the jabs even arrived and i was telling people okay look they're going to tell you that you're going to need a, a, an app on your phone to get into a shop to get into a restaurant to travel to do basic things to live your life or else um and i was told i was crazy that people would rise up they'd never take that and then a few months later those that very same person who told me that and I wasn't wasn't just one person they went on took the jabs and were happy to get their vaccine certification and use it to get into the pub and the, you know the control mechanism has been uh not just the propaganda but this this uh what what um uh, another gentleman had on the show before um which was uh, John Anthony he was a, a hypnoanalyst and he talked about this hypnotic element, which which requires uh, a certain level of amnesia in order to make people forget what they used to believe. Um, it's extremely difficult to wake people up when they're not following any kind of linear logical progression in their thought process, Max. You know, you, you're trying to walk them through point A, B, C, D and E, but they just keep going back to B all the time, like they just keep resetting. Um, I've, I, I'm like yourself. I've, I've sort of given up trying to wake up new people. I think if you're not awake by now, um, you're probably beyond. You're probably jabbed. Quite honestly, right?